bats are renowned for hanging upside down in high places, and I'm hoping that my next call out to the roof of a house will not require such daring acrobatics. We've just had a call from a lady in Newdigate. She's got a nest of jackdaws in her chimney. Um, the chimney sweep went the other day to clean it because they've got to do some work on the chimney and he couldn't get the nest out, so it's got to come out regardless. I've got somebody with me today, Chris, who's actually joined Wildlife Aid quite recently, um, and I'm rather hoping he's going to be the younger version of Simon Cowell, because I'm getting too old to do all these acrobatics and gymnastics. So uh, we're hoping he's going to stay with us and learn how to do it so I can retire. Good morning, Penny. Good morning. It's a long way up, isn't it? Nice Hello. to meet you. Hi, I'm Hi. Simon. This is Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, Hello. 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 Hello which means I have to overcome my fear of heights. We're going to be standing without any harnesses and it's going to be a bit iffy up there, I think. Oh, my God. Up. <laughs> Oh, blimey, it makes my knees wobble up here. Right, there's one baby. I'd really like to try and scoop it up and bring it upwards, rather than knock it all the way down because the baby's so young. There's one baby, obviously quite young, and next to it there's an egg that's unhatched, so I think the baby's only maybe two or three days old. It might have been infertile egg but the baby's quite young and it's, I think to push it down through is going to cause the baby damage. So somehow we've got to try to get a spoon type of affair down under the baby and bring it back up, which means we're going to be slightly more inventive than we thought we're going to have to be, to be honest. Oh, it's a very small fireplace. It's got a nice great big ingle nook that you can look into. I'll try very hard not to make too much mess. Oh, God, we're not going to see anything up there, is it? It's going to be an absolute... No. There's an immediate bend, so we do need the camera, Chris. Well, we're now going to um, set up the camera because the chimney bends at such an angle, there's no way we can see more than about a foot up there. Oh, look, picture your face. Oh, hello. Hello. Right, so let's have a look. There we are, that's going up, isn't it? So there's the nest. Right up there. If we had to bring the nest down, we could do. I don't think it's going to do the bird too much damage, but we'll try very hard to see if we scoop the bird out first because it's going to cause it less trauma. What we really need is a spoon type thing. So the lady's gone to the house, see if she can find something like a big serving spoon, which we can put a 90 degree bend on. We can then gaffer that to the end of the pole and hopefully just literally spoon the baby out of the nest. That's the theory. Never been tried or practiced in 20 years. It's fun doing so it anyway. We'll see if it works. Ah, oh, look at that. You sure you don't mind that? No, I have um, rather a large collection of kitchen gadgets. Oh, you've got some more. I'll, 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 I'll take some back with us. <laughs> so that will work quite well. The only thing we're going to have difficulty with is actually getting that to scoop under it without it sort of pushing the nest back down sure. the thing. Great idea. Just about jackdaw size. <laughs> when you wildlife rescue, you have to be handyman, DIY expert and everything else as well. Right, if we can both get up there now together and stand next to each other at the top without falling off the roof, one can sort of spoon this onto the other one. On this one, we've got the spoon at the bottom, but because the chimney is quite narrow, we're not going to be able to bend this into enough angle to scoop the bird onto it. So that's probably going to have to go down and sit next to the baby. We can see what's going on with the camera. Then if we both don't fall off the roof, which is a distinct possibility, we put this one down next to it and just when that goes up, which it will do, we just are able to lift the baby onto the spoon, bring this up. It sounds so simple, doesn't it? Does. It does. Okay. All right, Twinkle, we're going to get you out. I know you're hungry. Stop making so much noise. Right.
Right, the spoon is now sitting just by the baby. Come on, Twinks. Yeah, I know. Baby's really not helping. Instead of getting up and getting distressed as we get into the spoon, it's just crouching itself further down into the nest, which I guess they do if there's a predator or something around, and they try to hide themselves as best they can. Just buried right in. She's so deep in the nest, I just can't get this below it. Now, uh, I angle it down a bit now. Uh, down, 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 down. Spot on it. Up a bit. That's it. Finally, for one brief moment, I managed to get the chick onto the spoon. Now, I prayed, Chris, like you've never prayed before. This baby is very big compared to the spoon. Well, we managed, I couldn't get it on the spoon with the scoop as well. So we had to take the spoon out, then get it on the scoopy thing, on the sort of fork type thing really, then push it from the fork thing over. But as soon as you get it on the fork thing and you put the spoon thing down, it sits back down again. So it was a bit of a, a nightmare to get it. But um, in the end we did. It's lovely, thank you, that's lovely, that's great. Look, you settle in there, it's your new nest for the time being. And we'll get you back home and get you warm and get you fed. Right, well, the builder man's gone up the chimney and he's going to knock the nest down. Um, we're just going to really stand here just to see the end of the story, to be honest. There's nothing come down here, look. He says. <laughs> well, they see, they start with building with twigs and things like that, and then they start to get on the smaller stuff, so they get the softer stuff. So there we've got, this looks like hair or bits of cushion stuff and they build a lovely little sort of bowl inside the top of the twigs which is perfectly half round. I mean it's so soft, it's, it's like dog's hair actually, doesn't it? Much effort they put in. Look, time, there's moss. They spend so much time just building it, it's quite incredible. The chick needs feeding straight away, so it's back to the centre where Sarah can introduce it to our other orphan jackdaws. Hiya. Hello. Right, you can take over now. If it I was going to say, I wonder, your wondered if you're ever coming back. We've, we've done our bit. What is it? Jackdaw baby. Oh, is it? Well, it was six foot up. He was in the nest. Everything was fine. But he was putting some new flue thing up a chimney and it had to be cleared. Oh, uh, okay. So he had to go. Hello. You funny looking thing. They're ugly when they're young, aren't mm. they? I think we've got three in already, oh, but not as, um, not as advanced as him. But I think... He'll probably be quite happy in that nest yeah, with them. Yeah, cool. Do you want to have some breakfast? Yeah, I'm very hungry. Right, we'll leave him with you. OK. We'll even leave you the box as a present. Thanks. OK, dog. Okay. All right. See ya. What we're going to feed them, and what we feed most of the baby birds here at the moment, is a mixture of sort of mashed up cat food. And then we have this sort of special diet, which is um, really designed for insectivores. And people use it on their bird tables and things. And it's got dried fruit and berries and sort of dried insects in it as well. And obviously that, we sort of mix that with a bit of water to make this nice sloppy mix, which they seem to love and do very, very well on. So we'll see. Yes, come out. There you go. <laughs> right, now so you can see now, um, just with a little bit of time, the one that's the new one that's just come in skating as well. Leave him up! <laughs> oh my god! What we really need to do with this little one is he just needs a little bit of time because I think he's probably had quite a shot, but he looks fairly happy already. Oh, he's the noisiest one now. Is that nice? So we've all gone peace and quiet now. Rest. And, um, We'll leave them to sleep it off, feed them again in a couple of hours. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button. And make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.